Hi, this is Joe with Carbon Marine. Today I want to show you the difference in how various models of Artiller Pillar fit different grips. Um, sometimes we get questions about, well, my Tiller Pillar doesn't cover 100% of the rubber on my grip. And that is true. In some models, it doesn't cover. Some models, there's as much as three quarters of an inch to a half of an inch of rubber still exposed. So I'm going to show two of the more extreme examples. This happens to be a 9915-20 Tahatsu. We call it the flare tip because of the flare on the tip. But if you notice, when it's loaded, there's about a quarter of an inch of rubber exposed. Now we're going to move over to the 40 horse 115 EFI Mercury. Little funky grip. It's actually not round. It's more square and it's got a more of a bulb taper instead of a linear taper. So this is a little more difficult to fit. But once we get it fitted in, there's you know, seven eighths to, to almost of an inch of grip still exposed. But it is properly fitted, you can reach in and still get to the kill switch. So this just kind of gives clarity. Uh, I want this video to give clarity for people that are new to the Tiller Pillar and have uh, questions about how it should fit exactly. But each model is handmade. So there are a little bit of variances in how that Tiller Pillar will fit your particular motor. Uh, the other reason why we don't want to cover the entire rubber grip, some motors, the shifting mechanism is connected to the throttle, specifically on some Mercury's. If you don't have anything that you can grab a hold of to counter twist, we like to leave a little bit of that rubber so you've got something to hold to so you can counter twist to get it off because the grip is very soft, the tiller pillar is very hard, and once they've been on there for a little while, they can be somewhat challenging to get off. So having a little bit of that rubber exposed gives you something to grip, hold on to, counter twist to get it off. 